case file number zero 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 one who are you when no one's looking in an effort to better understand the adolescent male psyche I will be going undercover I have my special undercover gear on if the camera will take note of the knit hat generic knit hat I have my stealth sandals on which are both flipless and flopless I have sweatshirt typical jeans and should God forbid I be caught I've attached a fake name tag so that they will not know who I am but I've chosen a group randomly of young high school students typical for the age subpar hygiene limited capacity to communicate with members of the opposite sex and so on I will be scoping out what their behavior is like away from the public eye my theory is that who they are and what they do in public is the direct result of who they are what they do when no one else is around I've interspersed a personal commentary throughout this investigation so as to keep you apprised of the situation let's see who they are when no one's looking We're coming up on the house as I speak. We will need to stay absolutely quiet whenever we get inside. Permission was granted by the residents of the house before doing this. Please do not try this at home or in anybody else's home. Thanks. Let's cut to the action. As for this first case, oh, I never would have expected this. What odd and peculiar behavior, clutching a giant teddy bear, wearing a Team Jacob shirt to bed? Edward, I might understand, but Jacob, this is just ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, I'm Winston. Yeah, I'm gonna get you. No, no, Winston. No. Uh, uh. No, Winston, don't eat me too. No. Uh. Wow. Yes! <sighs> yes! Let's be honest, we all thought he was going to eat it. Jesus! 
George, sir! <laughs> They drug me outside, and they just kept kicking me. They stole my flip-flops and beat me with them, and then they yelled, Curious George, Curious George, who's the monkey now? And they laughed. <laughs> all in all, sadly, my results are inconclusive. What an odd, odd group of young men. But if my gut tells me anything, it's that we really do live large parts of our lives that no one else ever sees. When we're all alone, when nobody else is there, what do we do? How do we act? Does it affect who we are? Who are you when no one's looking?